coming home, baby, now. I'm coming home now, right away. I'm coming home, baby, now. Celle qui a traversé tout le cinéma dans les derniers 30 ans, tous les grands cinéastes, tout le cinéma de ce côté de l'Atlantique et de l'autre côté de l'Atlantique. Celle qui a travaillé avec les plus grands metteurs en scène. Merci, merci Paolo, merci de, de nous réunir tous ici et puis d'y croire encore un peu <rire> au cinéma. Merci beaucoup, merci à tous, merci. And I remember coming out of my house in New York one day and there was a couple of guys sitting on the steps, a couple of homeboys and they were like, hey man, how you doing? Hey, you made that film where Jesus like messes around with Mary Magdalene and comes back and has children and all that thing. You got in a lot of trouble for that, right? Les rôles, c'est pas si important que ça. Ce qui est important, c'est de c'est de pouvoir euh, mettre des, des états, des sensations, et en gros, ça peut, ça peut se mettre dans n'importe quel rôle. Le rôle, c'est une enveloppe, c'est un prétexte, c'est un alibi, mais ce n'est pas une fin en soi pour moi. I mean, the way he, he moves, the more he, he dressed, the, the way he is, I mean, his personality for me is like, a, could be from a, you know, Orson Welles movie. And, uh, and... Oh, you mean that I was more like Orson Welles? <laughs> yeah, also, <laughs> also physically. I would like to talk a li little bit about sociology. I love sociology. And uh, do you know why I love sociology? It's because... Um, It dares to look at human being when we fail. So when you say cocote, for cocote to refer uh, to a human being in the Dominican Republic, there's a, viol there's a tacit violence in that expression. So this person's going to get hurt, it's, it probably is going to get killed. So in the moment you say cocote to refer to the, to the neck of someone, you are, it's tacit that there's some violence in that word. You like that better. This is about not just body and soul, and not their coexistence, but, but rather that you can't really separate. We, we are the interference um, of, of the two. I'm coming home. Quand je les vois là, je les ai regardés. Uh, it's a bit uh, like if I was a, a, vam a vampire, you know, just grabbing all their energy. I mean, it's you, the energy those people give me. It's amazing. So, I mean, really, when you think about it, so many men, every, you know, every male director is at one time or another wanted to try the genre so I just wanted to see what it would be for me and I remember the New York Times review that came out said finally a psychological thriller that's really about psychology so I thought yeah I mean Harry we started working on the script uh, in the weeks coming up to production every Sunday we'd go up to his house and he would uh, mute the game show and then we'd talk about the script for a while, and then he'd go, well, I guess you guys know your shit, and then he'd go back to his game show. You don't learn anything unless you fail. So try everything, just try everything, you know? Even if you don't know how to play the guitar, pick it up and hit it, you know?
Elaine looked at me, and she had a uh, page of script, and she said, she just looked me up and down, and she said, okay, you'll, you'll go next. And um, I said, I don't know what that means. And, and they said, you know, you go into the circle now, and you're going to read this. And, you're, and I went into the circle, I began reading this text, and it's sort of, you know, it's, it's you know, difficult, because you really have no idea what, what it is that you're... Uh, reading. Uh, attention, le, le camarade cannibale explique très bien que le spectacle de la révolte n'est pas révolutionnaire en soi, que, un, que seul est révolutionnaire la révolution. Je ne, je, je ne suis pas d'accord parce que pour moi est révolutionnaire aussi l'esprit de révolte quand il est fouetté à travers les fémens, à travers les attentats pâtissés. Na altura, Lisboa estava uh a acabar com todas as linhas dos elétricos, pouco a pouco. Tinham decidido que os elétricos só perturbavam o trânsito, tanto que era preciso acabar com os elétricos. E, e estávamos nesse período, quando o filme, entretanto, estreia, o filme não sei quem no mundo inteiro, e de repente a própria Câmara de Lisboa começa a notar uma, um aumento da fluência considerável no, na linha 98, de estrangeiros. E não percebe, dizemos que é isto e tal. E, e de uma certa maneira, o filme salvou a carreira 28. E then quando eu finally got on the phone, he said, uh, he said, what do you know? I was saying, I'm afraid to do it. And he's like, what are you afraid of? I'm like, I just don't entirely know what it's about. And, uh, and David was just saying, well, I don't know what it's about either. So, <laughs> so I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> and so we went. I went to talk to him and I said, you know, I've always wanted to design a car because I was very obsessed with cars and racing. And he said, I've always wanted to make a film. So I said, okay, you give me your studio and I will give you my studio. Of course he had a real studio, I didn't. <laughs> I'm coming home now real soon. Ding dong. Coming home baby now. You don't know what I'm going through. I'm coming home, I know I'm overdue. Since you went away. Expect me any day now. I'm coming home. I'm on home. Coming home, baby. Uh, to be, to have been with us during all these days. Thanks, Greg. Thanks a lot, baby. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And to be back as soon as you can. I will. Thank you very much. <laughs>